Good morning. This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 372. And what I was trying to do this morning, it's um, 7.17 a.m. here in Florida. And I originally was trying to set up um, everything so that I try, could try to capture um, a broadcast that one of my fellow YouTubers was on this morning and on China Radio International. He has uh, this month moved over there and he is now um, one of the broadcasters. And unfortunately the band conditions are not that good. I could receive a signal but it was really hard to determine what I was hearing. So I decided to do something else in that I would try to show you the effects of external antennas versus internal antennas. And you know I've mentioned several times that I have difficulty testing uh, portable radios such as this Grundig, uh, new Grundig radio, using the internal telescopic antenna in my office here because there's just too much interference from the lights, from the computer, from the monitor, etc. Well, I want to try to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, I've got my Grundig 750 tuned to 9.580, which is Radio Australia this morning. And it, a few minutes ago, it was really booming in. Now, right now, I have it hooked up to my uh, internal antenna, this telescopic antenna. So let me turn up the volume, and I may turn it up on my mixer too, so that you can hear it a little better. But here we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's. You know, my S meter is almost pegged, but I can't understand anything. And basically that's due to the noise in this room coming into the radio. Now, let me switch over to my external antenna. Let me turn the volume up. Oh, that's great. It <laughs> sounds like, would you believe it? There sounds like a jammer trying to jam the signal. Let me turn it back on. Hear that noise in the background? And you can hear it comes and goes. It's almost like a um, distorted audio signal that's coming in and the guy has to take a breath and it goes away. Wow. And a few minutes ago, um, when I first was setting up, that wasn't there. Maybe it's something uh, in. Maybe it's something that you're actually broadcasting. That is sounds strange. Oh, 
So anyway, let me down. So anyway, I'm on my external antenna right now. And that noise, the signal level is the same, but when I go external and I'm going through coax cable and I'm using my G5 RV outside, outside, outside antenna, uh, the signal clears up. Now I'll switch back to internal. And I don't know if you can tell, but the actual broadcast is still there and it's still at about the same level, even though I'm using this whip antenna, but the noise coming in is just swamping it out. So that's the big difference um, with using an external antenna that's outside, that comes in through shielded cable, and if your environment, your room, is full of RF noise, that really helps clear it up. Uh, and it doesn't have to be necessarily a, you know, $120 G5 RV antenna, and that's not the best antenna for listening to short wave. But the, the key, I believe, not being an expert, but I believe, is the fact that you're shielding the input signal, that you take that shielded cable outside away from your RF noise that's in the room, and that brings the reception in much clearer. Maybe not, the signal level is maybe not that much higher, but it's clearer. So even if you just use shielded cable to go out to a long wire antenna you built, your reception probably will improve tremendously because you're eliminating that noise threshold. Again, I'll show you again. Internal. External. Internal. And I know, you know, I know what's causing in this room. I've got lights on to, you know, light up what I'm showing you. I've got... The, computer on. I've got a big monitor. Um, I don't know what else I've got. Well, actually, I've got like five computers on right this moment in my office. And all of them are sending out RF noise. And so there's no easy way for me to eliminate the RF noise in my office. Now, what I will be doing in a not too distant future, because it is starting to cool off, is I'll go back, once it cools off, and my workshop, which is, um, I've got an air conditioner in there, but it's one of those wall shakers, and um, it's just too noisy to run when I'm trying to record. But anyway, when the weather cools down, I'll be moving back down there to do my videos, and then I can do reception tests on radios like this one here, and use the internal antenna and there's not so much noise down there, RF-wise. Um, the other ideal situation is to take my uh, camcorder and go to a park, for instance, that is away from power lines and stuff like that, and then listen. But ideally, uh, you don't want to do that every time you want to listen a short way. So ideally, you want to find a room in your house or maybe go in your backyard and get away from the RF noise and then you can use your internal antennas. So anyway, that's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.